What's up? Welcome to a day of thrifting all around Boston. I'm so excited. I'm actually in Boston now. I just drove in to the Alston area and I'm gonna start my thrifting adventure here today. Figured this would be fun for anyone in the Massachusetts, greater Boston area um, to give you some tips on like some awesome finds that I've looked into that I'm going to explore today for thrifting. But also for anyone um, that is interested in getting into thrifting or if you feel overwhelmed by the idea of shopping secondhand, like I just want this to be a fun way for you to see some of the things that I get. I'm gonna give you guys some tips for ways that you can get into thrifting. And if you're already an avid thrifter, maybe this will just be fun to see the way someone else chooses to thrift, like whatever. I just went to a pavement coffee house. If you're from Boston, I don't know if this is all over the country, but if you're from Boston, you probably heard of pavement. It's so good. They have like a maple fig um, flavor that they use and I get it in my cold brew. Highly recommend if you're in this area. So I am at my first stop of the day and it is Vivant Vintage in Alston. So cute here. So much artwork in this area, which I love. It's nice to see the vibrant colors and it gives you a sense of like community and before I go in I wanted to just say what's up start off the video and also say that I know that thrifting can be really overwhelming to start and I know for me I only got into thrifting I mean I've been th into thrifting for a few years now but I really just started to be more like strategic with my thrifting and be more thoughtful with my thrifting in the last year or so. And so if you're kind of overwhelmed by the thought of thrifting or shopping secondhand, like let me just say that mindset matters and the fact that you're already starting to think about ways to bring new items into your home that are better for the planet, like I'm already so impressed with you, okay? So you're already halfway there. And the fun part is the second half, it's when you actually get to thrift. So. I definitely have some tips that I'm gonna give to you now. I have like my five favorite thrifting tips. The first tip is to always have some sort of goal when you go thrifting or a list. So I always write out a list and I'll read you my list of things that I would be happy with taking home with me. That way I am not being wasteful because as much as you know, you're, you're shopping secondhand, you're getting things that are much better than going out and purchasing. Um, new you should still be aware and conscious of not being wasteful So I always try to have a list of things that I need and things that I would be really happy with if I found thrifting I definitely create like a needs and wants list kind of like being open-minded to some things that I Could use and would be happy if I brought home and then things that I like really need and I try to stay under that umbrella so my list today, would love to find some baby clothes, some thrifted baby clothes. I don't wanna go crazy. I haven't bought any clothes for the babes. Um, and I know we have the baby shower, so a lot of people will probably buy us clothes. So that's partly why. But I'd love to thrift even like some winter clothes for when they're like three months, six months, all that good stuff. Nursery decor. So I specifically wrote that I'm looking for little trinkets to put on shelves. We have like bookshelves in there. And I wouldn't mind just some cute trinkets that if I see them, they remind me of my babes, I'm gonna pick them up. And then also bookends. So Jonathan is adamant that we have lots of books in the nursery. I'm equally as adamant and he mentioned to me before I left that I should pick up some bookends um, while I'm thrifting. So that would be successful if I brought those home. And then um, a living room and table. So we have this empty space. I talked about this in my last vlog that I put up. We have like this empty space in our living room that I kind of liked for a while because it was really minimal in there, not too cluttered, but now I feel like, I don't know, I want an end table in that area. So I would be very happy if I found like a beautiful piece of furniture, even something that needed work, like needed to be painted or sanded down or whatever. I'm down to do a project, springtime's coming. And then on my wants list, not necessarily needs, but I definitely wanna look for today is clothing. I always try to pick up some new clothes when I thrift. I really would love to find some maternity and or postpartum clothing. I also need kind of some lighter jackets. Like I do have things in my mind of what I want, but I just think it's important to have some sort of idea or framework before you go thrifting because it is easy to get drawn to a lot of items when you thrift, especially if you hit a store on a good day where there's a lot of things that meet your vibe, but you don't want to overbuy and get home and be like, I don't even have a reason to wear any of this or a place to store any of this. And then you're cluttered and it doesn't feel as good. So 
always have a list or at least a goal. And then my second tip is to have a budget. So have either written out or in your mind firmly the amount of money that you want to spend or more so like for me, I have the cap amount that I will not spend beyond. Give yourself some wiggle room. Of course, if you fall in love with an item and you surprise yourself, I mean, have that conversation in your mind and just be consciously aware of how much you're spending and are you going above your means when you thrift, which you really shouldn't be. That's kind of not the purpose, but um, have a budget is my next tip. Number three is to always donate or consign when you thrift. So every time I take myself thrifting, I always browse my closet and Jonathan's closet with his consent and get a bag together of things that I'm going to donate. So I have my bag here, as you can see, and I'm going to Goodwill at one point today. You'll see there's an awesome Goodwill in Boston, um, and I'm going to bring that to the Goodwill. You can also consign clothes. So consigning is when you donate clothing, but you do it in return for compensation. So if you have like nice pieces, not to warn all that good stuff you can consign i can sign very often but right now i just wanted to donate so the next one i wrote dress smart wear layers so something that i didn't know until i started really getting into thrifting is that you oftentimes will not have access to like a dressing room when you thrift like a lot of thrift stores don't have dressing rooms especially the last two years when i've thrifted with like covid and things like that you definitely can't go in the dressing rooms. So dress appropriately in the sense that you wanna wear like layers. So I'm pregnant, I'm not super comfortable. Normally I would just have like a little crop top. I would take off a layer and try on clothes over the crop top in the store. Um, but being pregnant, like I'm probably not gonna bust out a crop top in the middle of a Boston thrift store, but I do have like a tight fitted shirt on so that I can kind of throw things over it. I'll take my jacket off and try them on. Normally thrift stores have like mirrors all throughout so you can see how something fits you, but try to just be aware of the fact that you're not gonna have a dressing room and dress accordingly. Also too, oftentimes thrift stores have a good return policy or exchange policy. Like if you're buying something and you can't try it on, um, they'll let you like bring it back within a week or two to return or exchange if it doesn't fit you. Final favorite tip is to bring your own bags. So a lot of times thrift stores will provide you bags. They might charge you, um, you know, for using plastic or paper bags, but I always bring my own bags. Similar to when you go grocery shopping, you can literally use your grocery shopping bags, but I have fun bags that are like my thrifting bags that just make it more of an experience. So I have this nice tote. My girlfriend got me from Zadig and Voltaire, which is a um, like high-end designer <laughs> brand. Um, so I feel bougie while I'm thrifting. And then I have just this mesh like beach bag that I use in the summertime and when I thrift. So yeah, that's the final tip. Let's go thrifting. Lots in store today. I'm gonna check in and get chatty with you guys throughout the day. So let's do it. Okay, much more walking around than I thought we were gonna be doing. Woo, these girls are getting a workout in today. My hair is so staticky. Also, a life hack, bring with you dryer sheets on days when your hair is super staticky and it like alleviates it immediately. I still have like my whole coffee from this morning. Okay, so to tell you the names of all the thrift stores that I just went into, and yes, I have them written out on my phone because I can't remember all the names. I went to Vivant Vintage in Alston first, and then I went to Buffalo Exchange in Brookline. I'm pretty sure Buffalo Exchange is like a chain of thrift stores. Um, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. That one was pretty good. It was really packed in there and I was like a little overwhelmed with like too many people in my space while I'm trying to thrift. And then Goodwill on Calm Ave in Boston. And then I just went into Boomerangs on Mass Ave in Cambridge. I actually just got lunch at my favorite cafe, Life Alive. I've literally vlogged at Life Alive in Salem before on here. So you guys know that I love it. I got this like juice, where'd I put it? Carrot, green apple, lemon, ginger, apple cider vinegar, cinnamon juice. And it makes me want to like juice at home because 
so good. So let's get into it. First thing, so in that Vivint Vintage in Austin, that was probably my favorite thrift store that I've been in today so far. The owners or the, the managers, whoever, the people working there were awesome. It always encourages me to purchase from like small businesses when I really make a connection with the people that you know created them or opened them that might have persuaded me a little bit to buy this piece that I bought it is this cropped flannel that he said that his like part owner fully dips like a three-step dipping process to make it look like this so it's super custom every piece was different and I loved this honestly it looks like something you would get at legit free people so Technically, I was thinking maternity when I got it because I have like a free people um, one piece like ribbed jumpsuit situation and I thought this would look so cute with it with some white sneaks or Doc Martens or whatever. Like this is totally my vibe. So um, I was super happy when I got this and just to know that like it was made with love, it's unique, all that good stuff. And then in that store too, I got these oversized like tortoise sunnies. I... I think I mentioned at some point in my other videos, but Jonathan and I are going on a baby moon in like two and a half weeks to Florida and I have been wanting just oversized tortoise sunnies and I didn't want to spend a million dollars on them and I'm down to get them thrifted so I did and then from there I went into Buffalo Exchange where I did not get anything I think because I'm thrifting on a Saturday which is nice because I have so much time and I have nowhere that I need to be but everyone's in the same boat so there was a lot of people there from there I went to Goodwill and I picked up this book it's the nursing mother's companion and it's a breastfeeding book mother's trust from pregnancy through weaning when you're weaning when you're weaning your baby off of just breast milk incorporating foods all of that and so I thought it was so cool so literally one dollar and 99 cents like I love it so I'm really excited it just like jumped out at me so I got it so random but I'm a sucker for a little ceramic coffee mug I just think it's so cute lavender for springtime Easter's coming so I honestly will probably have this out on my windowsill I'll put some flowers in it I just thought it was so cute I don't know it just like sat there and spoke to me and said pick me up come on so again going on a baby moon in a few weeks and I've wanted a woven like rattan bucket hat like this and like they're expensive online because they're so on trend right now and so i saw this one and i absolutely love it i haven't tried it on so i'll try it on with you and you can tell me if it looks good it's broken but that's okay it has like a black sash on it so i can just stitch it right on and i feel like that's so cute i would even wear it without the sash if it doesn't end up working let's try it on and see Oh, it's so cute. And then the last thing that I got in the Goodwill is this basket for the nursery. So I did pick up something for the nursery. I was looking, there wasn't too many things that I loved, but I thought this was such a great quality basket for storage in the nursery. It'll either go on the like changing table, which is on top of our dresser, or I'll store this on the top of the closet. I've decided I'm not going to show any more clips of the nursery until I do the nursery tour, so you'll have to wait to see. Um, but I thought this was perfect, and I love that I was able to thrift it. From there, I went into Boomerangs in Cambridge. That's where I just came from, and I did not get anything in Boomerangs. I think I almost did. My grandma called me while I was in there, so the whole time I was on the phone with her, so I really was not as engaged as I probably I was like very much so leisurely browsing, but it was awesome to talk with her so I didn't end up getting anything but I didn't realize right across the street it was cheapo records and I've been actually I have not been to cheapo records before but I go to this soa um open market in the summertime I found this um vendor there called cheapo records and they have the sickest graphic tees I have like five graphic tees from them oversized cropped like they just get urban outfitters quality <laughs> graphic tees but they're actually vintage and so much better and so much cheaper so whatever check them out so for some reason in every thrift store i've been today i've been really drawn to like 80s windbreaker oversized jackets and i'm like what am i gonna style this with and i don't let myself buy anything unless i can picture an outfit in my closet that i can wear it with like i need to make sure it can be incorporated into um, my wardrobe but i found this Givenchy windbreaker <laughs> from most likely the 80s literally and I'm obsessed with it and I bought it 
I'm obsessed, you guys. I literally already thought of two ways that I would style this with pieces in my closet. So I think it's so dope for springtime, weather's warmer. Like, I just think it's so cute. And my mom definitely had jackets like this growing up and I'm about to be a mom, so. It felt on brand. Also, I did wanna add a few thrifting tips for you. I know I had five earlier, but these tips are more so when you're actually thrifting and things that you can do while you're in thrift shops. I don't know if you already know about this, but I discovered this trick like a year ago, I think. I was at my local favorite thrift store, Savers, and I um, always try to like talk with the people that work there, build a relationship or whatever, and she gave me the low down one on like the days that they do restock. So I definitely suggest if you have like a local thrift store that you can go to frequently, ask them the best day to thrift. Like when do they get their big restocks and try to go on those days. But she told me that there's a trick to see if pants will fit you without even trying them on like over your pants. You literally just take the top of them. I don't have pants to like show you, but you just take the top of pants. You hold them up like I'm holding pants right now. And if the two sides of the pants like fit around your neck, then and the pants will fit you and i've used this trick multiple times thrifting pants and it always works so give it a go and then another tip i thought of while i was thrifting is and everyone's different i've seen people give advice when thrifting to really take time to look through everything so you don't miss anything and i understand that but my approach is to lightly browse and let myself be drawn towards something because I wanna make sure, again, it fits my vibe. Like if I'm drawn towards it, it probably is my style. And so I just kind of like lightly browse and then just let myself be gravitated towards certain prints or textures or colors because it can be so overwhelming in these big warehouse style thrift shops and even the smaller ones that are like so packed you want to just like not let yourself get overwhelmed and feel like you need to see every single piece in the store let yourself be drawn towards certain pieces and the last thing i thought of if you find yourself having like a really great thrifting day and your <laughs> cart or your bag or your hands however you're like picking up items is starting to get really heavy and there's like a lot of items really ask yourself like do i need this do i want this do i love this i don't know that happened to me in one of the, the stores today um and i was like okay i'm just like picking up things that i like but i don't need and it's getting ridiculous like i don't need all this stuff so really check in with yourself while you're thrifting because i can get carried away and and so trying to prevent you from getting carried away well i have like three or four more spots to hit so let's do it Okay, it is way later. It is five o'clock. I left my house at 10 this morning. I've had a day. I've had a day. You can see where I am right now, savers. So I went to a boutique after I last checked in called We Thieves. It was so cute in there. It's in Cambridge and it was definitely the most high-end thrift store that I've been in um, today. It was so well done. I started talking with the owner for a little while and she goes to she like pays to go to these big warehouse sales that i think you have to be like a business owner looking to like re sell the items to go there like she has to pay a minimum every time she goes to these big warehouses so um i don't know it's just like really high quality goods i did not end up getting anything in there i did try on a pair of these like nice linen pants that were super stretchy that i thought would be good for maternity but they were a little bit big on me so i didn't get them but i would definitely check that spot out if you're from around here called we thieves or we the thieves something like that and the owner's really sweet so i'm definitely going to be going back she's like i'm going to be getting more stretchy pants for the springtime soon so come back as your bump gets bigger i was like i will and then from there i was going to go to the garment district in kendall square but I went on their website because I was like, all right, do I want to drive over there? It wasn't even far. It was like a mile away. There was a ton of traffic though. And I went on the website and it seemed like it was mostly like clothing and accessories, which is not really what I'm looking for right now. But definitely check it out because it looks big and it looks like it has some really good finds. But I was hitting the highway on my way back and my favorite local thrift <laughs> store is savers so i just popped in and i did get a few things 
actually I got like four things and they're all for the baby girls. I have officially made my first purchases for them. Like I have not bought them anything really. I'm happy to say that the first items that mom bought for them are thrifted. So um, I'm really excited. I'm gonna surprise Jonathan. I was really happy with this find. There was only two of them, two little Tom Brady jerseys. With him retiring and how special he obviously is to us in New England, I had to get it. And the fact that there was two, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And I got them so they, the only ones that they had were 12 month size, which is perfect because they'll be like, when the Super Bowl is here, they'll be like eight months or something like that. So obviously they'll be a little oversized, which will be so cute on them anyway. But I feel like he's gonna freak. So yeah, two little Tom Brady jerseys. And I love that they're thrifted, you know? They probably got worn by someone when Tom was playing, so. I don't know. So when they're six months old, it will be winter time next year. No, later this year. And so I got them little sweaters and I'm obsessed with the little knits. I can't. So this Dusty Rose color, which is just everything to me and little girls in this color is just so cute. The ruffles and just the knit. And then this little cardigan in such good material. Like I definitely wanted to only get something from a thrift store that I knew would be high quality. Um, and obviously I'm going to wash these very well. Another tip of you thrift, wash everything obviously and make sure it really gets clean. So cute. Ugh. So that's really it. I browsed around savers in the little trinket aisles. I almost caught this little wooden heart. Um, to put on like the shelf in the nursery but weirdly i didn't like how it felt it was like super grainy and you could tell the quality of the wood wasn't great so i was like i'm not even gonna get this but i'm definitely gonna continue thrifting to add some love to their nursery but didn't get much today other than that basket i showed you earlier that's it for this video i hope that it was helpful i hope it inspires you to go thrifting i mean if you ever find yourself with free time and you want to be creative or you want to find an outlet to do something different and um, challenge yourself to add new styles to your wardrobe or new pieces to your home or whatever it is like it is it can be a hobby it can be a way for you again to be creative and it also obviously is a way to give back to our planet thrifting is so important so definitely give it a go I have all the faith in the world in you you'll have so much fun and let me know if you end up going thrifting because you saw this video that would make me happy so thank you so much for watching if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe hit the little bell so you're notified whenever i post new videos i post once a week sometimes twice and i try to keep you all up to date with what's going on in my world and all that good stuff so again thank you for being here and i will see you in my next video I dare you to be wilder.